I'm making 21st birthday decorations for my son with free packing foam. Welcome to Up On Late DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. So the first thing I want to share with you is that the good people at Gift Dota reached out to me and asked if I'd like to review the product. It was perfect timing as my son turns 21 at the end of the month. Gift Dota's specialty is a wooden guest book, which will fit nicely in with the rest of our birthday decorations. The guest books are cut into the shape of whatever number you choose, with cheers to 21 years in our case. It comes with a small base that pops right onto the bottom, enabling it to stand, which allows it to serve as the perfect table centerpiece. As you can see here, this piece just pops right on. Those little uh, cutouts in the front, you can order from Gift Dota little birthday cutouts, birthday cake cutouts, or you know, various other bits and bobs that snap right into those little holes there. You can paint, stain, decoupage them, or you can leave them as is, it's up to you. I'm gonna spray paint ours black. So I'm keeping ours fairly simple. What I'm gonna do is highlight the edges and the word cutouts with silver ink. And I'm gonna use cosmetic sponge to do this. The um, message carved in the center there says welcome to club because our theme is welcome to club 21. I know it's difficult to see on camera, but the silver does make it stand out in person. I want to keep it somewhat subtle, visible, but subtle because the idea is for friends and family to sign it with birthday wishes. And I have some silver and white paint pens for this. I'm really just highlighting the numbers and letters just a little bit to make them stand out slightly. There we go, and that's all I'm gonna do to the numbers. But to the base, what I wanna do is add some silver foil. So I'm just gonna hit the edges with Mod Podge, and then I'm gonna sprinkle on some little silver foil flakes that Timu sent me. I've been itching to try the silver foil, so this is the perfect time. I think that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is seal it with clear matte spray. Then, after everyone signs to 21, I'll spray that to seal it as well. And here's what it looks like all finished. Like I said, I'm keeping ours nice and simple. And I think this will make a really sweet keepsake for him. So now I'm going to use some packing styrofoam to make some Club 21 decorations. I cut numbers from cardstock. I'm going to trace them onto the foam with a marker. To be honest, I generally don't use this type of foam because it tends to be staticky, but it was free. And you know what? Freeze, one of my favorite F words. And I knew that I'd be able to make something really cute with this. I mean, this stuff is plentiful, so I just couldn't throw it away when I knew I could make good use of it. And now I'm going to come in and cut out the shapes with my hot wire tool. I'm sorry, I have to hold it upright to cut it out. So this tool heats up and moves easily through the foam like a hot knife through butter. This is specifically to cut styrofoam, and I gotta tell you, I probably paid 15 bucks for this years ago, and it is well worth it. I do apologize that you really can't see what I'm doing, but I have to hold it upright in order to keep the wire straight, and so it'll pass completely through the thickness of the foam. I'm doing my best to keep the wire horizontal to the table, because otherwise it's going to give my number a bevel, which I really don't want. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm going to speed it up a bit here for you. There we go. That was quick. I'll get my tool cut out. And I'm also going to cut out champagne bottles. Each piece will get a coat of black acrylic paint. You can't use spray paint because it'll dissolve the foam but this was quick work. Now, I didn't bother to paint the backs, just the front and the sides, because where I'm putting these, you're not gonna see the back, and also the back is all different levels, it's all kind of jacked up, so I just didn't bother, but of course you could. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to cover my pieces with scrapbook paper. To do this, I'll trace my shapes onto the back of the paper and cut them out. I apply a healthy coat of Mod Podge to the front of the foam and to the back of the paper. 
So I do my best to align my paper on my phone and then I'm going to let this dry for a wee bit and then I'm going to come back and apply a top coat of Mod Podge with a cosmetic sponge. My top coat is dry, so I'm going to shade the edges first with Americana Sea Foam. Then I'm going to come in with Ceramic Coat Hippo Gray. These are the colors that I've used in all of the other birthday decorations I've made. I'll link my happy birthday cupcake video below, just in case you missed it. Over the past few years, I've been adding to my collection of birthday decor, and I always stick with the black and white and shade with this light green sea foam or something similar. And of course, my favorite, Hippo Gray. Shout out to Terry. So if you've watched me shade before, you know that I like to layer my colors. So I'm not really going over the sea foam with the Hippo Gray. I'm more enhancing it, so I'm kind of going just outside of it, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but it really does make a difference, I think, dimensionally. To embellish the front of the 21, I used my silhouette to cut out the word club from black cardstock, and I did an inset cut from gray cardstock, which I'll attach to the black cardstock using my glue stick. And I used the glue both on the black piece and on the back of the gray piece. I want to make sure that I catch all the edges on the gray piece because I don't want them lifting once they're in place. And I'm really just eyeballing this until I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to hit it with my brayer. I want this to be one piece, so I'm going to attach my numbers together with some toothpicks. And I'm just going to push the toothpicks in with the two numbers touch. I add two more at the bottom, just for security's sake. I didn't even add glue because it really didn't need it. They were nice and secure as they were. I'll use some 3-in-1 glue to attach the club to the 21. And that word club is going to hide those toothpicks from sight. So that works out well. And there we go. All done. On to our champagne bottles. I cut out the champagne bottle details using my silhouette. The body of the bottle I cut from black cardstock. The outline details I cut from gray cardstock. And the labels from white. I used Sobo glue to affix the gray outline to the black paper bottle. I just googled champagne bottle clip art and used the trace feature in Silhouette Studios to make these. Before I glue the white labels in place, I'll add the vinyl lettering 21 to the top label and cheers for the big label. And again, I'm just using Sobo to attach these. I thought the bottles looked a little flat, so I decided to add highlights to the bottles with silver ink. Again, I'm applying it with a cosmetic sponge. And I'm basically just hitting it anywhere where I think there might be a reflection on the bottle. And now I'll Mod Podge it into place. Again, a layer of Mod Podge on the foam and then on the back of the paper. I didn't bother with the top coat of Mod Podge on this. I didn't really feel like it needed it because the paper was heavier and I wasn't painting the paper. So... That's pretty much it. I do hit it with my brayer and I set a book on top of it and then, you know, weighted that down to make sure that the paper didn't curl up. To style it, I added bubbles coming from the top. They're just styrofoam glitter balls that I got at the Dollar Tree back at Christmas time. And I just threaded them onto some silver paddle wire and pushed them right into the top. And I sat them in Dollar Tree little tubs, which I painted a couple years ago. And I added fake ice. I think they turned out really cute. And basically they were free. I had everything on hand. Here's a final look at today's project. Here's another look at the Gift Oda wooden guest book. I'm really happy with the quality and design of the piece that they sent me, and I know it will add a fun touch to our celebration. 
I'll link the website in the description box and in a pinned comment, you know, if you want to take a look. They do have some other cool items, money gift cutouts and specialty confetti, which is cool. So check them out. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.